All right, guys, today you're doing the um, lung capacity lab with your GLX. This is your spirometer, and this is your mouthpiece that you're going to use. It's disposable. It's a one-time use. This is how you're going to attach this. You're going to take um, this unit here, and it has a little blip right there that fits on this. You're going to attach that in here, and you'll fit in there nice and snug. Your spirometer will go on the top of your GLX here, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to breathe into this unit. Notice it has a long side and a short side. You're going to breathe into the short side, okay? So this is um, what your instructions will tell you to do. You want a graph that kind of looks like this. When you read your instructions, it will tell you to take four normal breaths. And that's what this represents. One, two, three, four. Then it tells you after your normal breath to breathe in as hard as you can and then forcefully breathe out as hard as you can. So that's kind of what I've done here to make this graph. And we're going to do that and then analyze how we get our results. Okay? Um, before we do that, let's just talk about what these values are called. Here, this is your normal breathing. This is called your tidal volume. And a normal value for that is about 500 milliliters. Over here, our scale is 0, 1, 2, and this is liters per second. And so, as you can see, about halfway up is about 500 milliliters. Okay? Now, when you forcefully breathe in, that is called your inspiratory reserve volume. Okay? And then when you forcefully breathe out, down here, that is called your expiratory reserve volume, okay? And there's one other value that your um, lab sheet will ask you to calculate. It's called your vital capacity, okay? Vital capacity is the maximum air in the lungs, and you can calculate it by adding up your tidal volume, which is this, and your expiratory reserve volume, and your inspiratory reserve volume. Finally, it will ask you to calculate the percentage of your forced expiratory volume percent. Okay, guys, what that is, is the amount of air, after you take a deep breath and you're going to forcefully exhale, it is the total amount of air that you can breathe out in one second. So down here you have six seconds, seven, and eight. And so about right here is seven seconds. So my forceful exhalation started at 7.5 seconds. And coming down through here, it went down all the way here. And so I moved, um, let's see how many liters of air this is. Two down to here, three, four and a half. So approximately 4,500 milliliters or 4.5 liters of air. Okay, um, to get your percentage, what you're going to do is you're going to divide, okay, your a value that we just talked about, this forceful expiratory reserve volume for the first second, you're going to divide that by your vital capacity. And in a healthy lung, it should be somewhere between 75 and 85 percent. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look and see how to um, carry out this test and then we'll look at our values okay so this is your collect button this will start your experiment and it makes sense for you to have maybe a partner to do that um, your directions will tell you to hold your nose um, and so it's kind of hard to manage all this on your own so you may want your partner to push the collect button okay and so it wants to know how much air are you breathe not through your nose just through your mouth okay so um, and then also the directions tell your partner to count for you. One, two, three, four, breathe in, breathe out. And so I kind of know what to do so you, um, you'll you kind of see me doing that. Okay, so also it'll tell you ready. When it's ready, it'll show a green light. Okay. Okay. Oh, goodness. So you saw, I'll hit stop. Those are my normal breaths, and this is me breathing in very hard and breathing out very hard. Now, to look at this a little better, you're going to scale your graph. 
hit F2 to scale your graph and then what we'd like to do is move this um, so we can see um, a little better and we're at two second intervals here so we're just going to stretch that out a bit and then we're going to print come to F4 down to print at this point it says press F1 to start but actually I want you to go ahead and press F4 once press F4 again and then press F1 to get your graph to print okay Taking its time. Okay. All right. So here are my normal breaths. Um, our scale is a little bit um, off here. This is two, four, six, eight. Looks like we need some new ink and this is two four six eight as well okay and so um your your chart will tell you to kind of copy down what you have here or you can label your graph and turn that in all right thank you